Use goal seek, find where the equation has the desired value. So we're solving this equation for y equals 17. First thing would be to get a graph of it. Two times the x coordinate plus three divided by the x coordinate again. Now notice that since there's an x in the denominator, if I try to plug in a value of zero, that's not in the domain. Zero is not in the domain because you can't put a zero into the function in that denominator. So I get a divide by zero error in Excel. Just recognize that Excel is going to graph what you tell it. And that's what the graph looks like. Okay, now near that value of zero, so that's not an actual point. Let me make this a little bit smaller so I can see it in the data at the same time. So this point at zero and then an error, see that point doesn't actually exist on the graph. And I'm not sure what the shape of the graph will be without that point. So if I just delete it, it's a little bit better. Uh, let me look for more data in between negative one and zero. So let me highlight some rows and right click and insert. And however many rows I had highlighted, it will input that data. So let me do um, negative 0.8, negative 0.6. And just the way I had this, the way I inserted the cells, it's automatically putting in my, uh, copying down my same formula from above. And you can see over here that the graph is bending. coming up and then turning, then going back down. And put in a few more points. So this graph actually would look more like that and go down forever. And it has a vertical asymptote here. And then similarly, it probably has a vertical asymptote there and then goes off that direction. And in the end, if I'm looking for values close to 17, it's a positive 17, they would be up here on the graph. So none of those x values, none of these x values are going to be helpful. So I could actually get rid of all of this data and focus on this positive side of the graph. Okay, I need values in between 1 and 0. So let me do uh, what? 0 0.8, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.15, 0 0.1. Now notice this time that the formula didn't copy, but I've got it here. And I could take that and um, pull it up. And it automatically came into my graph also. If yours doesn't do that, then click on the graph, find the purple and the blue end, uh, these end handles, and just move them to include more or less data. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for a value of 17, which would be about right here. And I think that this part of the graph is going to continue to go up. I might have another solution off to the right. Let me put in some more data. And they, those points didn't plot, so I'm going to drag down my selected values. There we go. Okay. A value of 17 happens somewhere between 10 and 20, which means that X solution would be somewhere in between 5 and 10. Uh, let me search on it using this row. Data, forecast, what if, goal seek, set the y-coordinate cell equal to a value of 17 by changing the x-coordinate cell and keep that solution. So notice again, if there's a little bit of error. It isn't exactly 17. So that's not, this x value isn't the exact solution, but it's close enough for what we need. And then again up here, somewhere in between 15 and 20 on the y, values, that's where I'll have a value of 17. So somewhere in between 0.2 and 0.15 is where I would expect my other solution. I'll use this row. Open up the what if again. Change the y coordinate 
to a value of 17 by making changes in the x-coordinate and keep your solution. So my two values should be 0.1803. Copy that in. Notice you get a lot more digits. And then a comma and copy in your second value. 